What is up Fleet fans and welcome back to my channel. Today I am on the road so I will be doing this review in my car. That's right, you're getting a low quality video today. I'm in my car filming with my iPhone. What could be better? I'm also in the parking lot of the movie theater that I just watched Captive State in, and that is what we are talking about today. I'm on the road visiting family, but I can always find the time to watch a brand new release in theaters and review the movie for you guys. So that's what we're going to do. If you guys have watched Captive State, get in the comments section below. Let me know, did you like it? Did you not like it? Are you excited for it? And be sure to come back to this channel tomorrow because I have a brand new Netflix review. Let's get into this review today. We are talking about Captive State. And Captive State is set in a post-alien invasion world focusing on both sides of the conflict, both good and bad. Sorry, I had to change locations. I'm actually in front of the mall now. So I walked into this film with very minor expectations. The fact that they didn't have much of a marketing campaign is questionable. And I don't just mean a minor marketing campaign. I mean, I saw one like teaser trailer for this film way back when, months ago, and I have not seen anything since. And this is the director of Rise of the Planet of the Apes. This is a director that I actually enjoy his work for the most part. He's had a few flops here and there. And then you have people like John Goodman and Vera Farmega, who was completely wasted in this film. So I'm like, it could be bad or it could be good. You look at Rotten Tomatoes and see like a 50% one side or the other. And I've seen a very divisive opinion of this film, especially on Twitter. Some people love it, some people hate it. I'm definitely more on the hated side. I found this film a big waste of opportunity and waste of potential because you have a good idea here. You have the concept. It's just the execution, the way they go about it. This film is very sloppy. It rushes through so many plot points and the exposition dump after exposition dump, every five minutes it felt like they were telling me exactly how I should feel about the situation and what was going to happen next. And sure enough, what they said was this obvious information that the audience could have found out on their own. This film treats the audience like they are dumb, and I hate to say it like that because, once again, I like the concept. You've already said that, Austin. What was the concept? Well, there's a lot going on in this film. There was a brief introduction to the alien invasion at the beginning of the film, and then those two brothers that you see at the beginning go on to accomplish and do mighty things. You have one side of the war, and then you have the other side of the war. Some are working with the creatures slash aliens, and others are basically a group of rebels and as you expect there are people implanted in both double agents twists and turns along the way it's just the story was so convoluted i did not know what was really going on until 30 to 35 minutes into the film and by that point i was already checked out didn't really care about any of the characters now our lead he's pretty good i didn't gravitate towards his character but the actor I liked his performance. Really, performance-wise, no one is bad in this film. I can't look at this and say, oh, it's a group of horrible actors because it's not but what they were given the dialogue so on the nose and giving the audience everything. Once again, it always bothers me when a film is just feeding the audience information that we could figure out on our own. The fact that it was doing that and I was still slightly confused as to what the actual plot of this film was half an hour into this movie is not good. But as long as it's entertaining, right? Sci-fi is supposed to be fun. Sometimes you can turn your brain off and have a good time. And don't get me wrong, this film is trying to be prophetic in the vein of Arrival. It does not accomplish that, but as long as it's fun, it's not fun. It gets really slow. There were 10 to 15 minute span of nothing but dialogue. Dialogue based around this film that I didn't already care that much about. And then at the end when they try to hit you with that emotional impact of an ending, my goodness, they're going to do it. I'm not going to tell you what they're going to do just in case you watch this movie, but let me tell you, it is the most trying to be epic thing I have ever seen. That just kind of falls flat. Now, it is better than the movie that came before it. Unfortunately, the prior hour and 45 minutes, I was sitting, I checked my watch multiple times because the dialogue was not interesting enough to get me invested, and the film is just choppy. It juggles all of these plot points and jumps around from character to character to character, and I never cared about any of the characters, only slightly our main character, but even and he couldn't do enough to save the script, to save the screenplay, and deliver on a story that just ended up being super uninteresting to me at the end of the day. When sci-fi falls flat, 
it can really fall flat and become some of the worst movies out there. We've seen many cases on Netflix with films like The Titan. And the one with Anthony Mackie that came out earlier this year, I can't even remember the name, guys. When sci-fi does not work, I can't stand it because it is one of my favorite genres. And unfortunately, Captive State did everything it could to try to make this premise interesting. It just did not deliver. And at the end of the day, this film fell completely flat. I was very bored uninterested and really disappointed because I love John Goodman. I like Rupert Wyatt as a director for what he could be, but if he keeps making movies like this, it ain't gonna be much. As always, guys, I encourage you to see the film for yourselves and make up your own mind. If you're asking me, I will say stay away because it was really kind of a waste of time. And if you like this review, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. I promise I'll be back in my normal space soon for my next video, but right now I have to give this film a score and unfortunately, I'm gonna give it a really low score. This thing was very dull and it did not work. And I'm going to give Captive State a 33%. Ugh, not a good weekend for movies if you mix this with Wonder Park. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Regardless, I am in a mall parking lot, so I'm gonna get back and eat some dinner because it's late and I'm hungry. You guys are the absolute best, thank you as always. And if you're still here, t-shirts. I have t-shirts just open up a brand new store in the description. You can go check those out. Maybe purchase one if you want one. And if not, that's okay. I'm hungry. Bye guys.